In today's episode, you will learn how to use the pH sensor with Arduino and find the pH value of different liquids and display the pH value on the serial monitor. As this is a getting started tutorial, so in this tutorial we will only cover the extreme basics like for example, number one, how a pH sensor work, number two, application of pH meter, number three, pH sensor calibration, number four, pH sensor interfacing with Arduino, number five, basic programming to find the pH value of different liquids and finally number six testing. Let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from DF Robot and Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. Let's first start with the very basic questions. What is pH? And how a pH sensor actually works? pH stands for power of hydrogen, which is a measurement of the hydrogen ion concentration in the body. The total pH scale ranges from 1 to 14, with 7 considered to be neutral. A pH less than 7 is said to be acidic, and solutions with a pH greater than 7 are basic or alkaline. If you are using litmus paper, none of this matters. The basic idea is that the paper turns a slightly different color in solutions between pH 1 and 14. And by comparing your paper to a color chart, you can simply read off the acidity or alkalinity without worrying how many hydrogen ions are there. But a pH meter somehow has to measure the concentration of hydrogen ions. How does it do it? An acidic solution has far more positively charged hydrogen ions in it than an alkaline one. So it has greater potential to produce an electric current in a certain situation. In other words, it's a bit like a battery that can produce a greater voltage. A pH meter takes advantage of this and works like a voltmeter. It measures the voltage electrical potential produced by the solution whose acidity we are interested in, compares it with the voltage of a known solution, and uses the difference in voltage, the potential difference between them to deduce the difference in pH. This is the analog pH sensor kit from the DF Robot. DF Robot is a leading robotics and open source hardware provider. They create innovative, user-friendly hardware and software products that become the building blocks in all kinds of electronic projects. I personally recommend you should definitely visit www.dfrobot.com. This pH sensor kit is best for measuring the water quality and other parameters. It has an LED which works as the power indicator. A pH sensor, a PNC connector, a variable resistor which is used for the calibration which I will explain during the testing and pH 2.0 sensor interface circuit. Its interfacing with the Arduino is really simple.
connect the red wire with the Arduino's 5 volt. Connect the black wire with the Arduino's ground. Connect the blue wire with the Arduino's analog pin A0. So that's all about the interfacing. Now let's have a look at the Arduino programming. This is a very simple and basic program to find the pH value of different liquids. I will be using some known liquids whose pH values are already known. For the demonstration purposes, I will be using water, milk and a cold drink. This program can be downloaded from our website and also from the gfrobot.com. I will provide links in the description. Hash defines sensor pin 0. The pH meter analog output is connected with the Arduino's analog input A0. Unsigned long integer average value. Store the average value of the sensor. Serial dot begin 9600. Activates the serial communication using the serial dot begin function. 9600 is the baud rate. Then starts the while loop function. We use a for loop to get 10 sample values from the pH sensor and store these values in an array. Then we use these two for loops to sort the values from small to larger in the ascending order. This for loop is used to take the average value of 6 center samples and the value is stored in average value. Then we convert this value into millivolts and into the pH value. Then finally, we display the pH value on the serial monitor. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. First of all, let's find the pH value of the water. The water under test is not pure water. So in this case, the pH value can be slightly greater than 7. Now connect Arduino with the laptop and open the serial monitor. The pH of the pure water is 7. In general, water with a pH lower than 7 is considered acidic and with a pH greater than 7 is considered basic. The normal range of pH in surface water system is 6.5 to 8.5 and the pH range for ground water system is between 6 to 8.5 so the water under test is safe and can be used for drinking without any problem now let's test the pH value of the milk Fresh cow's milk has a pH of between 6.7 and 6.5. Values higher than 6.7 denote mastitic milk and values below pH 6.5 denote the presence of bacterial deterioration. Now let's check the pH value of the cold drink, remove milk and clean this with water. If you search on the Google, you will find that the pH value 
for the cola drinks can be from 2 to 5. As you can see on the screen, the pH value is between 2 and 5. This pH sensor kit from the TF robot is the most accurate pH sensor kit. We checked the pH values of three different liquids and got accurate values. The collaboration is really easy. All you need is select a liquid with a known pH values, like for example the cough milk, and check its value if the value is greater or lower than the exact pH value which you can of course find in the chart. Then all you need is to rotate this variable resistor and adjust the value. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.